Skip it a button, that up. Before iPods, before Discmans, yeah, even before Discmans, there was Sony's CD Compact Player. This is one of Sony's first forays into uh, making portable CD players. Now, the funny story behind this, even before I started really making YouTube videos back in like 07, I always wanted to make a video on this because this thing is just such an interesting piece of history. I know this is a random video, but I'm at least going to enjoy it. I think you guys will too. So this is actually from 1985. And like I said, this is one of Sony's first portable-esque. You'll see why I'm not going to call it a full portable, hence why they call it a CD compact player, um, CD player, because it was just, it, it, I'll explain why in a second, they couldn't actually call it like a disc man or a portable CD player, but as you see here, pop the door open manually, and yeah, this thing's kind of long in the tooth because it's at 27 years old, and Look at the mechanism inside now. If you know portable CD players today, they're plasticky pieces of crap. You have a solid steel under here. Nice, well-built machine. But hey, back in the day, I think this costed about 200. I looked up an article. So this was Sony's kind of hybrid step into the market. It was really a home unit, but it gave you the option to take it on the road. Now what they also did to cut back on some corners with this is when you have a CD player, when you have a disc like this over here, J. Dilla Rough Draft, when you have a disc, it has bits, ones and zeros on it. Inside a CD player, they have a D to A converter, which means digital to analog converter. And usually normal CD players, modern ones, even though CD players are dying out in general, have two, one for your left channel, one for the right channel. What Sony did to cut costs on this D5A compact player is they only had one D to A converter bounce back and forth between both the left and right channels very fast. So this had very poor error correction and high frequencies kind of got rolled off on it. So it didn't have the best sound quality, but they had to cut corners back then to make this more affordable because this was like top of the line stuff when it came out. This is actually a revision. This isn't the original model. This is D5A, the D5, um, in the States or the D50 was the original. So you're thinking, hey Rich, it looks portable. It looks like a disc, man. It's nice and small. Yeah, there's a trick up its sleeve. Let me grab that. This is what you had to have to actually make it portable. This is the battery compartment behind here. And how many batteries do you think it takes? Two double A's, four double A's, maybe Game Gear status, six double A's? No, let me show you. So we can do this in a i gonna try to do this video without editing it. Pop this out. This took, okay, I lied. I'm gonna have to do some editing. Yeah, jump cut there. Yeah, six C batteries. And guess how much time you got out of six C batteries? One hour. Yeah, so now you know why they called it a uh, compact CD player or CD compact player because you weren't taking this thing out on the road with you. I mean, you could put rechargeable batteries in here because this actually was, it lets you recharge batteries. That's why it has a charge light over there, but one hour at a time. And then if you put uh, NICADs in there to charge them, that's what they used to charge. You were getting less than an hour of music playtime. So this was really just a convenient, you know, home component CD player that you could take, you know, to a barbecue or something with you and plug it in outside as well. So that was really what, you know, it was more of a added gimmick, the batteries to this. So 6C batteries, that's what some boom boxes back in the early 90s used to run. I remember boom boxes, another outdated piece of technology. God damn, I'm old. So we put this back in here. Now, this came with two separate pieces. Now, I'll show you what happens here. If I can do this without spazzing out. Try and do things one-handed, it sucks. When you're filming YouTube videos, get your minds out of the gutter. Now, when you want to make this portable, which you did, actually had your audio, your line out, and your power right there. You would take this, and you would slide it. Yeah, uh, well you get the point, hold on. There you go. You would slide it in and then it would be a portable CD player for 55 minutes. When you want to use it at home, what you would do is you had this unit here. This is what is the power supply. So you would take this out and pull 
pull this back out again. And if you wanted to use it at home, you would slide it there. And that would be a home CD player you'd hook up back to your hi-fi stereo back in the 80s. So it's an interesting piece of history. The other cool thing about this, at least last time I checked it back 10 years ago when it still worked, I think it might still work now, we'll find out, is that this played burnt CDs. Um, we'll even play CDs now, let's find out. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing in action. It was very bare bones in terms of its option. Now the light here is terrible, so um, very straightforward play pause with your feather touch logic buttons here and you had forward back and forth you had a skipping track stop nothing too special going on here I think if you hit one of these buttons here I can't remember you could actually skip through the song get to a certain part but I'm not even sure if you could do that I haven't used this in 10 years I think I said before I think it's been around that I think it was right before I went to college um, but anyway let's crack it open this mechanism is hurting and put in J. Dilla Rough Draft. Man, if this thing still reads discs, that's nuts. I used to use this all throughout grade school. God, that sound. Yep, there we go. I'll be damned, this thing still worked. Didn't even hesitate, it didn't. God, the quality things were made with, man. Unbelievable. So 27 year old, semi-portable CD player still works perfectly go buy a $20 CD player from Walmart now the portable ones they sell by the no-name brands to see how long those will last you the laser in this was never replaced by what by the way I know that for a fact this is my father's unreal man what an interesting piece of history now I will play some music for you but there's two things getting in the way one copyright and to YouTube's audio compression is so harsh that you wouldn't it would just sound like an mp3 anyway but man interesting piece of history so once again folks before the iPod before your your Android phones you listen to music on before whatever mp3 players you had and this was what people considered cutting edge back in 1985 when Reagan was still in office unreal anyway little bit of a different video here. This is Rich of Review Tech USA. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Oh, by the way, the mode button here. Um, there's, <laughs> this is how bare bones this is. I want to just add this in before I end this video. You only saw how much time was remaining for the whole album. And the mode button either lets you skip through tracks or if you go to search, it lets you search through the song. I just wanted to add that little note in there because I didn't say that properly before. All right, guys, this is the Sony CD compact player from 1985. Have a good one.